Hello viewers, how are you doing? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, in today's video, we'll be talking about how you can prevent immature from happening to your goat. How you can prevent immature in your goat farming and how you can prevent diseases in your goat farming. So first, before I will start to, um, I mean, I'm, I'm, I will start telling you guys what you can do to prevent immature in your goat farming and how you can treat some diseases in your goat farming. I will start by telling you guys that I will be dropping an ebook for signing how you can start up a goat farming in Nigeria. It's a video. To, I mean, it's, it's, it's a course for you guys. You can go and read it, and after reading it, I'm very sure that you you will learn a lot about goat farming in Nigeria. And not only in Nigeria, you learn about how you can start up a goat farming as for beginner. And even though you, you, I mean, maybe you have started this farm already, and there are still things that that you need to know about this goat. Everything is being written there, starting from that this is their preventions and some things that are, uh, that are required for you to know before starting out this good farming. And I'll be dropping it this week. I've done everything and everything is complete today, so I'll be dropping that particular ebook this week. And the price is three thousand naira for my subscriber out there. I'll reduce the price. The price is three thousand naira. I'll be dropping my contact list and some other details that you need to know about how you can reach out to me. So if you make your payment then send me your email and i will send that ebook to you directly and you can go through it and you see that i've, I've written a lot about this goat farming already starting from their feeding starting from the goat itself the introduction their feeding their housing the their diseases and prevention the symptoms and, and everything is there and even the feed that they feed also so everything is there and some other breed of goats that you need to to know so I've written everything and this week I'll be dropping and the price is 3,000 Naira. So um, apparently the reason why I decided to share these videos, um, I mean to talk about the immature in goat farming is because um, they are this particular friend of mine that has been facing these particular challenges. And the thing is, um, when he bought the goats for the first day, I mean the, the goats were still, I mean the, 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 I mean, the, the, the period is very very stressful so due to that the goats they are very very like weak so they stress the goats a lot they stress the goats a lot starting from where they bought the goats then and where they are and where they were taking the goats to is very far so due to that on um, long journey the, the goat is very stressful and at the end of the day most of them they are giving birth immature they they i mean the kids are not surviving sometimes they will, they will last for two days and before you know the baby will die because they are not yet mature and and that is not their time for them to give birth on the system period of good lasts for 52 days and so if your goat doesn't reach that time and your goat decide to give birth beyond i mean um before that um that's number then that means your, your there, there's a pro, there, i mean there, there's probability that your goat might not the baby might not survive so and the baby are very immature so before I started this speech, that video that you guys just watched, so those are the babies of these goats that are lying there. So they gave birth to them um, last week. In short, four of the female goats did the same thing. And it's very, very discouraging. If you're into this goat family and you're seeing something like that in your goat family, it's very, very discouraging. So what can you do to prevent such immature in your goat family? Number one thing, if you discover that there's, there's an immature in your goat family, first thing is to get them a, a new one. Yes, get them a, 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 I mean, a baby milk that, that, that is very nutritious in a lot. So give them that particular milk and they will survive. Then make sure that during the the the, the birth period, I mean during the time they are there, that that female goat is giving birth immediately. Like discover that that goat they are immature, they are not yet um, they are not yet very strong. Make sure you carry that particular baby kit of that goat. Then wrap it with a wrapper. Keep it in one place. Keep it in a, in a warm place, not a cold place. Keep it in a warm place and start feeding them for every every two two hours. Start feeding them for what every every two two hours. So with that, you can prevent them from dying. And make sure you you get a veterinary doctor. Get a veterinary doctor after stocking the goats in your farm. Make sure you get a veterinary doctor and make sure they are they are the injection. They are they are drugs. Are being the, the 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 way they prescribe it. The, the I mean I mean in, in, in the vets and service. Make sure you are giving the drugs to them accordingly. You know some of these breeds that we are that we are even raising in Nigeria are not that strong compared to our local breed. Especially this Bonu red. We have been having that challenges in our own good farming also, but 
but we we are, we are about since all these days we have been providing solutions to it and everything is going hand in hand but actually we have been facing that challenge is also because most of them you know they um this is their first time of giving birth this is their first time of giving birth and those born red they are not that strong compared to the local breed so this particular goat I'm telling you guys that is that is causing this in on this immature they are the born red they are not they are our local breed they are not the African dwarf the African dwarf they are very rugged and strong but for the bonu red, they are not that strong. So if you have a breed of bonu red in your farm, make sure that it that you that you treat that goat very well, so that that goat will be um won't be sick or won't be given on this you know, immature breed to you guys. You know you have you have put in, in your base, you have deposited this uh, this huge amount of money to start up this business. So you are um, for 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 you to be to be to be making a loss um instead of making the gain is very very discouraging so if you want to prevent such things in your farm like i told you guys make sure that your feed are being given to them time then make sure that the prescribed drugs are also being given to them and make sure you have a veterinary doctor in your farm that will be treating the goats maybe once in a week or twice in a week so with that the goats will do very very well and make sure that um, you 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 get a heater for them or you or you make a fire for them for them to keep on you know goat doesn't like rain and we are in the rainy season time so due to that it can even affect the goat also so make sure you get a heater on construct your house in such a way that that place is very warm and make sure you are sweeping the floor whenever you see that they pull on that particular floor make sure that you are sweeping it you are keeping everything clean with that you can prevent immature in your goat farming and also you can also prevent some diseases that can happen to your your goat so with the help of the ebook that will be dropping this week, you can learn a lot from the diseases, their prevention and their symptoms also. So you will learn a lot from this ebook and I'll be dropping it this week. I promise you guys, I'll be dropping it this week. So please do it and buy this this um this ebook. It will help you a lot. It will help you a lot and it will go a long way if you can read them. You can sit down and read them. So you, you get a lot of information about goods and, and you can also know some breed also that, that are very good that you can buy to start off with. I'm not saying that bonu red is not good though. It's very very good. But they are not very strong compared to um, our local breed which is the African dwarf. So when having them in your farm, make sure that the necessary things for you to do in order for you to keep them, you are doing it. If you are not doing it, they are going to die. They are not that very strong. So and, and this is the rainy season time and you know goat doesn't love rain. So make sure you construct a house for them and make sure you are separating the sick one from the rest of the goat. So those those are the similar mistakes that most of us or I mean most of you that are going into goat farming are, are doing. If they see that this particular one is sick, they'll just leave in they'll say, okay, before the, I mean before the evening the, the goat will get well or the goat will be doing very well. No. If you see that your goat is not feeling fine. Make sure you separate that particular goat from it and this is where the area of on um, constructing two pen or three pen will comes in so you must construct three pen one is where they will be staying during um, maybe if the rain is fine they, they, they can run to that place to to hide themselves or do or, or if, they, if the if the sun is very high they can also run to that place to relax or sleep there then the another one is for the pregnant one if you see that your goats are pregnant and separate them let them be staying in that particular place to the time of their delivery and the, the third one is for the silk one you see that that one is sick just isolate that one keep it inside that place and make sure you give them drugs or injection immediately so with that you're going to survive and they will stop on immature or any other form of disease that can happen to your goods and make sure you are giving them salt time by time normal salt, the salt that we are using at home make sure you are putting it or you are adding it in their feed um maybe once in a week or twice in a week Make sure you are adding it in their feeder so it will help the goat to do very very well and it can even prevent some diseases also in the goat farming so with that if you are doing everything then you discover that you run a successful goat farming and nothing will happen to your goats again so these are the things i mean these are the advice i want to share with you guys that you can prevent all those things if you are doing what is required for you to do then your goats will do very very well so please, if you are new, my not forget to subscribe to Adota Farm. Like I've said, like I like I, like I usually told you guys that we are here to guide you guys. We are here to, I mean, to 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 put you guys through in any areas that you guys are thinking that you, you, you don't understand. We are here to put you guys through. 
but if only you can cooperate with us and follow what we are giving you guys oh no we have the experience we have goods also so we are facing the same experience and these are the um, and these are the solution that, that we are giving to us so the same thing is applicable to you so if you do it your, your good farming will be very very good and don't forget um if you want to start with fish farming also do it to contact me i can come over to the place that are staying and start up a fish farming for you and very soon after um, when i've dropped this ebook uh, consigning goods i'll be dropping consigning grass cutter also for whichever person that have interest in grass cutter so i'll be dropping that ebook also but first of all let me drop the good um, um training for you guys i mean the the course you can read it's also a training for you guys if you read it i'm very sure that you understand everything about good farming in nigeria so if you are new in my channel don't forget to subscribe turn the notification bell to be notified when next i drop a new video for you guys and please do well to drop your comments and give me a thumbs up and bye for now